17 minutes. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, welcome back. Uh, so this is going to be part two of what I'm calling street photography nerds only. <laughs> it's basically us nerding out about street photography. We're going to talk about the genre. Um, just talk loosely, casually about what's on our mind. And this is going to be um, a continuation of... Um, oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys know this guy. This is, uh, <laughs> you can introduce yourself. I don't know if people know it. Just, just link to the other video and then... Oh, okay, okay. Very, very good. Or you can um, play the video here just to... Oh, yeah. To show. I, don't, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Put in the, the work right <laughs> yeah, now. Okay. You, you know my work schedule now. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, this is Samuel, so this is going to be a continuation of our last um, conversation a little bit. And so the other night when he was at my place, we were talking until 1 a.m. in the morning about just the genre and street photography and then how it's being represented on YouTube. Because, this is the topic, right? Yeah, this is, this is kind of the main, the main topic of today, which is how street photography is being represented on YouTube. And mm -hmm. the question I ask, and I've always asked myself, am I adding to the genre or am I taking away from the genre? Mm -hmm. And this was like the basis of our conversation. And I brought up some points that we'll talk about, but we'll, I'll just kind of ask you that question. Is YouTube right now, mm -hmm. is it properly, is YouTube properly representing street photography? As a, as a, and this is why we, we have this in common because we're both kind of filmmakers, filmmakers before street photography. So I have my own concerns about it and we kind of share the same sentiment. So do you think it's being uh, accurately this? representing or actually going in the direction mm -hmm. of, you know? So um, I don't watch uh, every channel that is about street photography. I know all the big ones and a few smaller ones. Um, it's very hard to answer that. I mean, in general, I think the, that the hardcore street photographers are not on YouTube. Oh, hands down. No. Like they, what? Yeah. Yeah. So what, what we see on YouTube is the, the, the hobbyist, the enthusiast, or the um, people learning street photography and uh, what we have is a lot of POV videos. Yeah. Yeah. So people are out on the street. That's yeah. Um, well, yeah. kind kind of. Uh, sorry to interrupt, mm -hmm. but um, it is my channel. Oh my god! No, no. <laughs> I'm gonna interrupt you all, all the damn time. <laughs> this is my channel. Now. No, I'm but not uh, to say yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> No, but kind of what you're talking about, hardcore street photographers, mm -hmm. and that's that's the fine. It's not even a fine line. It's mm -hmm. you're either this or this. And if you're a hardcore street photographer, you don't care about video. Like you don't you you're taking photos. You're not making video. That's the point. And this is where I feel me and you have the advantage, or we have a filmmaker's background to help complement the genre. And it's yeah. not fair that the hardcore street photographers out there, as you know, some of you are, that. It's not your job to make a really good storytelling video because you don't have that background. Your, your job, just enjoy street photography. But there are people now that are using street photography as a kind of platform and a cool thing to do to get views and yeah. likes. Like, what do you feel about that? Mm, I think it's, it's fine to, to a point where it is for like entertainment purposes. Um, and also, we don't want to like uh, like bash any yeah. specific people. It's yeah, not, yeah. not no. about. It's not not wrong, but no. um, yeah. If we talk more about is it serving yeah. the, the art or not, yeah. or taking from it, or yeah, 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 yeah. So so specifically, let's yeah. just talk in specifics because we've had this conversation. Um, the other day, like lightly. And While you do that, I will check the exposure because it's okay. getting sent. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, continue. Okay. So we talked about 
by just adding, putting a GoPro, oh shit son, <laughs> by putting a GoPro on your camera, boom, and walking around taking photos and showing the photos, are you doing the genre, the um, genre, are you doing the genre justice by just doing that? So what are your thoughts on that? Because I have my own thoughts, Yeah. but I'm kind of an asshole and a nobody, but you, you know, no, you're um, really in the scene, so. So um, maybe we should talk about how it all started, because um, I think the first POV videos about street photography happened um, in documentaries, yeah. as a different way to show uh, the process. So it was about the process. And when it first was done, it was very interesting to see the point of view of the sure, photographer. Sure. And then it became a trend on YouTube and everyone everyone does it now. Yes. But I think the, the problem um, nowadays is that um, it is cut into like short pieces and then all you see is just the, the highlights. Yes. And then we were talking about it, um, you actually opened uh, my mind to not showing the photos immediately, yeah. Yeah. but putting so, them at the end. So, the, can so, so this is my whole gripe of it, is as a filmmaker, and you, you know this too, as a filmmaker, I don't necessarily like POV shots because as a filmmaker, it's POV shots or fisheye or any of that, that's supposed to be for a very specific moment. It's not proper storytelling to have the whole video fisheye or GoPro or whatever. To me as a filmmaker or storyteller, that doesn't make sense. If you splice that in, that's fine. But if you just attach a GoPro onto your camera and start shooting, it becomes documentary style. And if you're documenting the a moment, so let's say as a photographer, you're, you're trying to capture one moment, a very specific moment with one image. If you're doing video, you're also capturing a one specific moment. So if you're doing video and taking a photo, doesn't that feel redundant? Like which are you doing? You're, you're capturing the moment with video and you're capturing it with a photo. That's like two separate mediums that you're mixing together and I don't feel that they work together. Because I, I do the same thing as you. I watch a lot of POV street photography videos and I'm watching the video and they're interrupting the moment with a photo. Remember, you're already recording a moment. Let the moment breathe before you interrupt um, it with a photo. And that's what I feel a lot of POV videos are doing. You're not actually conscious of what you're doing this to begin with, which is just capture a moment. So what I've done is, if you see some of my videos, sometimes I don't show the photo immediately. I let the moment breathe, and then maybe like three, four beats later, then I show the photo. Because that's the ultimate goal, right? Is to capture a moment. And whether it's video and photo. Obviously street photography is photo, but if we're trying to be filmmakers or YouTubers or whatever, I think you're doing the genre a disservice by interrupting the moments. And that's the thing that I don't like because I'll watch a video and I was like, ooh, this looks like an interesting scene. And how does it play out? And then it stops in a photo and then they move on to the next scene. And I was like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Like this feels way too disconnected. I think this, um, this can be done better, but in yes. a similar way, uh, as it is already done, because when you say, oh, I want to see the moment, then maybe the, uh, the photographer or the person who did the video should show the photo afterwards. But sometimes you have a moment that, uh, where the build-up is interesting enough, and then the moment is, um, um, what you said, you already know what is, how it is playing out, so yeah. when you see the photo, you're like, this is, this is the peak of the moment. Yeah. And then it can be enough to exactly. move on. No. But exactly. sometimes it is like something is doing something weird. You want to see how it develops and what happens yeah. after that. Yeah. A lot of people, for example, ask me because um, I I'm worse. I also cut the, the video completely after the photo. I move on to the next scene. 
Yeah, you know? see, uh, after the photo, I don't even show you what's See, happening. that's the parts that I want to see and I don't like, and I'm just like, ah, what happened? Yeah. I want to see their reaction. I want to see what, what happens afterwards, how you almost deal with that situation. Do you exactly. ignore the people? Do you, do you say I apologize? You have the interaction, and I feel mm -hmm. that's a more truer representation of street photography. Yeah, because a lot of people ask ask me, you know, what happened after that, and did they talk to you or did they notice you? Yeah. Um, so that yeah, that's definitely something that takes away from um, from showing how it really is. Yeah. And making it more realistic. And that's that's my that's. The topic are you by doing that are you adding to the genre or are you taking away yeah. from the genre of street photography? Have you watched the, uh, the war photographer with James Nachtway? Uh -huh. this, this was a movie which uh, what really influenced me to shoot a uh, more documentary style and I love documentary shows. Yeah well you should definitely check it out if you haven't seen it already um, because he goes into these war zones and then they put a, um, or he, he probably put a GoPro on his camera and you see like these scenes like bombs going on, like gunfire and it's so intense and you never see the photo but yeah. you see him like um, like running and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know like out of breath and it's yeah, yeah, yeah. so intense and you watch and you're like wow this is amazing yeah, yeah. and you don't want you don't even care much about the images because you see mm -hmm. what's exactly. happening and later when, when he talks, you see this, the photos and you're like, oh, I remember this from yes, the video. Because yes. this is one experience and the photos is yes. another experience. So this is actually a perfect um, transition into the next topic. And I had this kind of similar and I was talking about it. Um, don't steal my idea, Samuel, you son of a bitch. <laughs> no, I don't care. But again, this is all for the genre of street photography and all this kind of stuff. Is um, So now that I'm shooting film, and uh, <laughs> thank you, Costa, um, for sponsoring this video. <laughs> thank, you. thank you for just not bothering us and let us do this video. Um, so now that I'm shooting film more, and you're shooting film more, and I'm pretty much exclusively shooting film, and I just hipster. like the process. <laughs> I've gotten so hipster. Uh, like I got the Kendall Jenner camera. Um, actually, I've, oh, really, I, shh, really I, haven't, I haven't, I haven't put that video out. Yet. But anyways, um, so I'm exclusively shooting film. So now it's a very, for me, it's a very tricky balance because not only do I want to serve the street photography community justice by A, putting in the work, and we've talked about this, you know, just like, hey, you have to put in the work. If you're gonna put videos on street photography out there and you want to add to the genre, you gotta put in the work and you have to just respect it. And I feel like I've been doing that or whatever, yada, yada, yada. So now I'm trying to serve street photography justice, but and also I'm, I want to serve film photography justice. So. We see a lot of videos, and my last video was the same thing, um, to where I'm shooting film, and I'm showing the images that I capture, boom, and it shows up immediately. But now, I'm like, okay, but that's not how film works. There's a process to where I don't know what I've got, and until a week later, process, whatever. So. Why am I treating my, my video as if film were digital? Because when I take an image on digital, I get to see it immediately and I can share it. So on the YouTube videos, a lot of people are shooting film and sharing it immediately. Well, if you want to be truthful, that's not how film works. So, yeah, go ahead. No, I mean, yeah, it's, it's uh, the experience you get. Or the, the, if, you, if you see a video like that, then you are like, oh, it's very simple, it's not much different from, from digital. Yeah, but that, that's further from the point. Yeah. Go ahead. But also, I think it's um, it's interesting to see, for us film photographers, it is interesting to see the immediate uh, result because it is it is not possible yeah, in real life. Yeah, exactly. So you're like, it's a kind of like magic, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. already there. That's where I find it like some kind of matrix thing, like you, the viewer, are seeing the images before I get to see it. Like it's some back to the future, right. forward future type thing. 
but good. But yeah, and I think it is. Um, it's not bad to do that, but if you want to give a more truthful experience, exactly. you would show them at the end. Yes, and that and that's where I I'm going to later on. Uh, What's up? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start playing with the medium a little bit, the format of these videos. And again, this is me just being conscious as a filmmaker, a street photographer, and not being filmed. Like I want to add to the genre. So I have this idea, and maybe Samuel, you can play with it, and then give me yeah, credit later. So. Give, give me credit later that like, oh, this is Jay's idea, or whatever. But anyways, so what I'm gonna plan, I plan on doing is. I will do a video, intro, whatever. This is a street show video, I'm shooting film, playing with the format. But I will actually put the GoPro on the camera and I'm gonna go out and watch. Uh, I'm gonna go out and shoot. And I'm gonna document my process. But because it's on film, just like I can't see the photos, you shouldn't be able to see the photos. And then, so I'm gonna go out through whatever, couple hours, blah, 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 document the whole thing, chop it up. And then afterwards, I'm like, all right guys, I just finished the roll. I hope I got some good ones, whatever. And then I'm gonna do this like kind of rec room for a dream um, montage where you're gonna see me go to my, um, go to me drop off the film, walk, and then pick up the film again, then go home, and then low, uh, when I get my scans back, load them up, see them, boom. So it's gonna be like a quick montage, boom. And you know, I, I thought about that, but it, it, it would be so funny if you show like the POV footage, and then take the picture, and then it cuts to you going to the lab, uh, sending out your film. Or giving out your that film. would be a long video. Go back home, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go back to the lab, yeah. pick up the film, then you're scanning it, and then it shows up, and then the POV continues. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you go to the lab, you come back, you scan because, it. Because that, that would be a truthful process. Yeah. <laughs> be a long ass video. <laughs> well your videos are already long anyways. So. <laughs> I, uh, I have too um, much content. <laughs> yeah. um, so, but so that that's the idea. So then I'll have a montage of my process of how I get to see the images and then boom now you get to see the images because that is a more truthful representation of film. And for you as a viewer um, you get to see you get to see that process too. Because right now, when when we shoot film or whatever, some of the videos out there that are shooting um, uh, uh, these YouTube videos with film, you're kind of, it's being treated like digital because you get to see the image like right away. So that to me doesn't make sense. So that's my idea or whatever. Also actually really quick, um, as a true representation, um, shout out to you and Jason because the video, the one block blunder, for me personally, I think that's been the best video of all year. Like in terms of, that's my favorite video of 2019. My worst photos. Your worst, <laughs> your worst photo because that's truth. Yeah. So shout out to Jason for posting the video, having the balls to post it because as us people making content, you want to. Do good work. You want to show you're a good photographer, oh, but yeah. that is that's the truth, yeah. and that's why I love the video. And I think for the community, what we're talking about, um, adding to the genre, I think that has been by far the best video because I'm watching it and I'm just like, oh, I can, I can feel it. I was like, oh, and like and that's to the do reaction it. we got from the video, the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I think we should, uh, yeah, touch on. Um, the aspect that we are out of time. <laughs> yeah, we are out of time. I have a timer. Already 90 minutes? Already 90 really? minutes, yeah. So okay. anyways, I gotta replay this because Fujifilm only allows us 20 minutes. Uh, ah. <laughs> hold on. So let me... Uh, oh, this is the, what the timer is for? Yeah, this is what the timer is See, I'm a little more smarter than, yeah, than okay, that last okay. video. <laughs> the one block blunder. Yeah. Uh, like. So what's... Um, What's unique or special about the One Block Blunder, or I mean it's called One Block Series, but yeah, yeah. Um, was that you see us failing so hard, and this is not something that is um, not happen, uh, it's not, isn't happen very often, it happens almost every day. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's hand down. And it shows, day. from the reaction of the video, it shows that 
um, there's um, th this type of content is lacking, like yes. showing how it really yes. is, because we yes. always see the best offs, and yes. I won't say any names, but a lot of people <laughs> just film their, themselves on the street, shooting pictures and showing all the good photos. I do that too, but I combine it maybe with a vlog or something else. But um, at the end, for someone who is new, goes to YouTube, wants to see more about street photography, they see all these people getting great shots and then they might be very uh, discouraged afterwards. Yeah. They're like, what is, I'm so shitty, you know, how can I take, and it takes so much work and you try hard, it's, it's almost like, um, like skateboarding when you do a trick, you always see the highlights, you see the, the made tricks. Exactly but you don't see the hundred tries yeah. of the skateboarder. So it's the same with street photography. You go out every day um, and then you fail every day and then you get maybe, you, you get lucky maybe once every two weeks or so yes. if you go out every day. Yes. So I think that type of content is lacking but it adds to the genre because it shows how hard it really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think, I think it's funny because in that video Again, shout out to you guys like for making it and because I feel it's very important because because I I can feel again this is kind of a uh, a weird meta feeling because it's like I can feel you guys are pissed off and nervous because the world is about to see this. <laughs> you know, you're like, "Oh fuck, are we really going to put this out?" Like all of our videos are I can feel that nervousness and that tension, but that's not the way it should be. But yeah. that's how street photography is. You're gonna get a lot of shitty images and it's and you guys are about to put that out into the world. And I'm sure afterwards you guys had a discussion like, oh, should we do this? Should no, we, we just it? did it. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. He, will, he, will, he will cut it into the, like the, only the, the, the and I'm right glad he, And I'm glad he, and I'm glad he, no, did it the way he did it. No. Because I think, again, that's very important. Kind of what you're saying is to where, like if, I'm only showing, if I do a little street stroll video and I'm only showing you my highlights, then you're gonna, if you're new to street photography, you're gonna be like, oh, I can never get to that level. Or how is he shooting and everything is in focus? Or everything is like such good shots or close ups. Well, you didn't also see the rest of the role, or you didn't see the rest of the shots where it was all shitty images. So this is where I feel I think there needs to be a more accurate um, and accurate way of showing how street photography is because there are newbies that you know this isn't like a cool hot genre to start doing practice and when people sh see a video and it's, this is like oh this is how I shoot and blah 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 and they're like wow this guy's fucking amazing I can never do that that's not the point and and that's not adding to the genre that's like posting your portfolio with commentary, yeah, and actually, that's it. how do you feel about the? Because um, I have mixed feelings about this. I'm still not sure. How do you feel about commentary over the video? Uh, I've seen that a few times. Because um, I haven't really seen in your videos. Oh yeah. And oh wait, yeah. Is it because you're lazy? I don't know what the type of videos you mean. Huh? Is it because you're lazy? You don't want to. <laughs> no, because. I don't know, I don't like to talk that much in my videos. <laughs> the video already shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I don't need to also describe what you are yeah. seeing. But this is what we were talking about the other night. It's like masturbation. Though. <laughs> it's just like you're seeing your own work and you get to talk about your own work and you yeah. get to like, it's like, all right, I've already seen my, you yeah, know, I you're saw... already seeing the work and you need me to talk about the work also. Um, Unless there's, it's there's a separate a, thing. Unless it's a separate thing where you mm -hmm. sit down and talk about the process. I've, what I've seen before is some guy, I think it's a Fuji photographer. He was showing the photos. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he, to, he was showing the photos and then he was talking. <laughs> he was talking about his uh, thought process and uh, there was no POV video, so he was describing the scene. But then it made sense. Because we were listening to him, talking about it, about the scene, what happened. So I was like listening and seeing the photo, and I was curious. But when I already see the video, I don't need the commentary. Because then I see what's happening. Yeah. If he felt cold that day, I don't know. Maybe it's important, but it's not really important. But this is what I mean about the redundancy. Mm -hmm. 
like, by the way, I know I'm a pervert, but he's the one that said, this is like masturbation. I was like, yeah. this is like you're masturbating in the mirror. And you're just like, exactly. looking at yourself, looking at your photos, doing a video on top of that, and then doing a commentary it's on like, top of the video. It's like vlogging yourself on public and looking at yourself on the screen and step into the camera to talk to your audience. You talk to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. But then you put sunglasses on to disguise that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> disguise that you yeah. must, I must be. <laughs> <laughs> no one can see me. <laughs> it's too dark in here. Yeah. No one can see that means no one can see me. <laughs> um, so, so, what about your. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what about my little uh, Zeiss clip? Um, so, anyways, yeah, I think for this, this is because I have these internal conversations in my head that I, A, I don't want to sound like an asshole, or B, I don't like have any friends to talk to. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but I have these internal dialogues about like, uh, I don't like this idea, or it's, I don't think it's truthful storytelling, or this and this, because like, this is why I've always, from the get-go, I've liked your videos from the beginning, because I think, we go, A, you have a filmmaker's background, same as me, and I notice right away that I'm very, this is gonna be a very unpopular like statement, but I'm very anti-slow motion. You have yet to see any slow motion in any of my videos. And when I was watching your videos, I was like, thank you, no slow motion. So, everybody knows, why don't you put slow motion in your video? Oh, um... Uh, it has two reasons. First is I don't, I, can, I cannot shoot in 120 frames per second, so I can't even do proper slow motion. <laughs> if, if you wanted to, you can't even do it. Yeah, yeah. But, but that's oh, a technical thing. Yeah. But even if you did. Yeah. What I sometimes do is shoot like 60p or 50 uh, frames per second to um, have the option to slow something down. But I know what you want me to say is that it should be intentional and used for a specific effect. If something happens too fast, for example, uh, sometimes, sometimes I shoot uh, higher frame rates um, with, the, with the action cam, yeah. because things on the street sometimes happen very chaotically or I'm panning fast. So maybe you will miss the moment. So maybe I will slow down something. Like, I think but not like 120p. No, it's, it's like 50% slow motion. Which is not crazy, and then it's only a short time, because yeah. you don't need to see like someone walking very slowly and then picking up the camera, <laughs> and then you put in like epic music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go do the job, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, yeah. I, I'm also not a fan of slow motion, because yeah. back to the skateboarding thing. So I, I was skating a lot, and then we would film ourselves, and then we would all, always, when there's like a very complicated trick we would start the slow-mo in mid-air. Like, you see us coming to the spot, and then we jump, and then you see it's like, suddenly it's like slow motion, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then when we land, it goes back to normal yeah, speed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, rampant slow-mo is the term for it. Uh, and that makes more sense than, other than showing, uh, rather than showing you rolling to the, um, onto the spot in slow-mo, then it's like, come on, I want to see it. Uh, yeah, yeah, good yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Cut out the, the boring stuff. Or it's stuff. like, why would we need slow motion in street yeah. photography? I'm going to take the photo, yeah. you see the... You know, it makes no sense. And I think, again, this is going to be a very unpopular kind of topic, but to put slow motion arbitrarily just in anything, it's silly. And it's, it's not proper storytelling, or you're not, you have no intention at all. You're just yeah, no filming. right to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's just like, you, you didn't pre-plan this video, or you didn't sit down and have a blueprint or whatever. You can tell if, if slow motion is used to, to um, demonstrate a point or show something, uh, or if it's just for uh, aesthetic reasons. Aesthetics, of yeah. course. And, and, and that's most what it is. Most of the time it is for aesthetic reasons because, yeah. ooh, it looks cool. Now yeah. everything will be in slow motion. Yeah, exactly. And I'm getting 12 year olds looking at my video that love Transformer movies. And it's because yeah. they love the slow motion and the aesthetic part of it. But, but even it's, there, it's used uh, 
on this and some action scenes. Well, yeah, because it's these are actual filmmakers. Yeah. <laughs> like, but um, so so I'm I'm not a fan. You've never seen in my videos. I've never seen in his videos. So that's why I've always felt connected to some of his stuff because I was like, okay, finally someone gets it. And again, this is gonna sound very snobbery or whatever. But again, we're trying to add to the genre of like, or add to YouTubers or filmmakers who don't have a background, or again, street photographers don't have a background in filmmaking too, so I don't blame them also. Mm -hmm. But this is, I think it's a teaching moment to where like, you're only supposed to use it for a very specific thing. And if, I, if or when I use slow motion, I like it as comedic purposes. Like very funny, like because it's just hilarious. Yeah. I don't need it for to make things look pretty or to make up for a storyline. It's only supposed to be used once, yeah. and then in a very specific moment for like 15 seconds. Mm. Um, otherwise, it's just it's overdone, and it's I don't know. I'm not a fan of it. And I've seen some comments on some videos, whatever, way back to where it's just like they're really lashing out to the filmmaker or whatever and I don't know about putting negativity into the world like that but at, at least having a healthy conversation like this and you know, coming from someone who has a background who has an actual background. actual following uh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad you can be an asshole for a moment and, and talk about it <laughs> I mean uh, I, I want to um, I want to say that this is not for for us to tell you what you have to do, but I think this is important to um, to make everyone aware who's doing street photography videos. This video is for them, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. To have a conversation, and I, I it's think for street photography nerds, we have to reflect on what we are doing, and we realize that um, we are like, wait, we see this happening, and we are like, oh, this doesn't serve uh, street photography that much as, as we think and yeah. that maybe we have to change the approach or think exactly. about other ways to do it and we're part of the problem also yeah like yeah. we're adding to it yeah. we're adding you know i'm um, a big problem you are a big fucking problem, <laughs> I'm problem. you are trouble <laughs> <laughs> no but i think it's important that we say you know let's sit down and then think about the stuff we do and do we help people or do we just masturbate yeah, well, I, I, I do that a lot. <laughs> the I'm married and I still am like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think most people get uh, what we mean. It's yeah, yeah. For people who produce street photography, they can relate to that. But yeah, I mean, it, ideally, the new people discovering street photography, they should yeah. get a sense of ah, this is what's special about it. Or this yeah, is yeah. why it is. Um, interesting and challenging or, yeah challenging or like oh sometimes it's more about the journey and the process of meeting people and again i loved it in one of your videos or jason's video um is i love that you showed him chopping it up talking to one of the people he took a photo of mm -hmm. um one of the guys in new york and yeah. he was like oh I, I see i see you like every so often once a week next time i'll talk to you whatever and it was like an old school New Yorker and I love that moment because that's what street photography is about versus you came up you took the photo had the conversation for 20 minutes but you didn't show it and then you left and it was just like and then no one knows that there is this conversation happening exactly so then they are like or oh, no so one knows that you're you're allowed to do that or supposed to do yeah that. And what happens then is that new people go out and they take photos and they run, run away and for them it's like yeah I take the photo it's for me I go away I post it yeah. but um, that doesn't leave a good impression onto the general public no. so when you take a photo and you're interested in the person yes. that's why you do it this like, is your intention. exactly and you don't know like Jason could be homies with that guy now like having lunch with them and just chilling and he, with this them. is his um, Every morning he walks this uh, yeah. path, so they, they see each other now. But exactly, but, and this is another thing is, is like, I like that moment being shared, but stuff like that, I personally don't take photos like that, because I like the anonymity, and I like the, like I have no problems talking with people, but my itch and my to like talk to the subject and the model or whoever, that's why I do fashion photography, lifestyle stuff, because that's when I engage with the person. 
when I do street photography, that's my time to break I away to from them. good for you, otherwise yeah, you won't talk to them. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, alright. <laughs> These bums on the street, <laughs> like, they're not aesthetic. It's this ugly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Too much character in their face. <laughs> Um, no, but that's where I get my fix. Yeah. So that's where I, I'd much rather, I take, I'm very chill about it, take a photo, whatever, but that's why I don't do street portraits. Um, but at least, I mean, people don't see your face while you're doing POV videos, but I think your, your wife was telling me that you often smile, or you wink, or you do it. Yeah, yeah. You, you show like, you know, that, that, that you're there with the right intention. Oh, yeah, it's not yeah, like hands down. Taking a photo and looking scared that no, no, you get no, caught. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a good. No, that's not a good look for street photography, yeah. too. And maybe that's. Hey, that could be another point in videos. Maybe filming our face as well when we shoot the video, or sh including yeah. it. Because I do that a lot. I, I take a photo and I like give it a, a nod, or a wink, or a smile mm -hmm. to know that they that they got a photo taken of them and I appreciate it and it's it's just good vibes that way I'm not sh like this mm -hmm. or whatever and if I do shoot from the hip or I do something sneaky it's because I have a feeling it's going to interrupt that moment or that naturalness of the scene which I don't feel me acknowledging them will be beneficial to the photo. Yeah. But yeah, most of the times I have a smile, I take a photo, especially if I'm out in the open and they kind of wink back or they give a reaction. But again, nine times out of 10, they're pretty cool about it. Yeah. And I'm not dressed in all black and I'm yeah, not with yeah. sunglasses and I'm not like, no, I want to be who I am and acknowledge people. You also definitely get better photos when you are part of a scene like most people want don't want to be part of the scene because yeah. then you maybe affect how it turns, how yeah. the scene acts out. Mm -hmm. But my my personal uh, favorite photos, um, they were all done um, when I was comfortable in the scene and I, I got noticed, you know, I was part of it and the other people knew knew that, so um, I forgot what I wanted to say, but uh, I think it's good to, to also show that um, you don't need to run away or be, no, be no, like no. A, a ninja or secret about it. Yeah, yeah. No, and, and again, this is, this is what our healthy conversation about this, this topic is like, we feel a responsibility more, more so, more so you, more so you than me, because, um, but is, are we adding to the genre? Are we taking away from it? Or imagine what hardcore street photographers, these croissants, these Bruce Gildens, imagine them watching one of your YouTube videos or watching YouTube videos right now and they'd be like, what the fuck is this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was like, so I want to actually, actually like be proud or if someone were to see it, like, oh, that seems like an accurate like depiction or I like when they embellish this moment they embellish the right way or embellished it meaning letting the story uh-oh uh-oh the timer the timer the timer <laughs> this is supposed to be cut out this is supposed to be hold on I gotta do another timer thank you Fujifilm for only you doing 20 minute uh, stoppage recording time thank you would these people be proud of this this moment or oh I like that they spent time like with your guys' Jason video oh I like that they showed him spending time with that guy chopping it up talking to him being friendly and I'm that sure way he's not disrespectful yeah. in the moment to get that because imagine all these close-up shots of these intimate portraits that Bruce Gilden um, uh, has imagine seeing that video play out on why did he pick this certain person or how did he approach him yeah. or what did they talk about did they have coffee for 30 minutes and then and then take the photo yeah and there not, are a few clips showing that how oh, he really? shoots the portraits yeah, yeah 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 and that's more interesting than the actual photo mm. sure the photo on the subject matter is cool but why not show a little bit of the story and so yeah. I think this whole conversation right now is we are conscious of it and trying to make that format a little better and I feel some other people should be conscious of it because if you're 
claiming yourself as a street photographer or or a YouTuber who does street photography, whatever, well, kind of do, like, be conscious and try to be, not better, but just like, I don't know, put a little more truth into it. The thing is, yeah, especially if you have uh, gained a uh, certain amount of uh, following, then you definitely, definitely have the responsibility to yeah. um, show it in a truthful way yeah. or um, the biggest compliment I get, for example, is when people say, I always get positive vibes. I, I always feel motivated to go out and shoot. I'm like, wow, it's, it wasn't my goal. Yeah, I just yeah. do what I would love to see and just have fun doing it. But people, they are really like happy and motivated and they are excited to try it out. Yeah, yeah. So that's for me like... I've got that once. Uh, yeah? I've got that once. <laughs> <laughs> no, it will, it will be more and more for sure. But that's yeah that's i think that at least the basic goal we should have is to mo motivate people to try it out but then what happens um with like the new new beast the, the very the the, the the beginners who um, are very shy maybe yeah. or you know we need to also um, make sure they understand yeah how it is working and how it is uh, that there's nothing okay wrong to, to be. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's what I'm. I've always been. And if people know me personally. I like to inspire the youth a bit, and inspire. And that's what my channel is all about. Is I don't want it to be about headiness. I want it to be about the gut and heart. And it's more so like there's a connotation or a stigma that's like in photography or in the arts that only we can do this or only whatever. Um, but that no, it's a process and you start and you slowly get better and better. And me, I'm, I'm not nowhere near where I want my photographs to be. And at least I'm trying my hardest to get to a certain level. Um, but yeah, so I think um, that's about it. That's the, that's the end of this video. Sam really wants this to end. He's like, uh, this isn't on my channel, so, I'm like, so I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> no, 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 it's no. fine. Uh, yeah, it's, but yeah, any it's last hard thoughts? It's to think about something to add right now. Because I think the most, we talked about the most important thing. Yeah. So don't take it too serious. It's also important to have fun. Yeah. You're allowed to have fun and do fun videos. That's why I liked when Bello was here. It's all us. Yeah. Spiritually vibing and just having laughs. Because it's all about and... not taking yourself too serious, exactly. which is happening in some of the POV videos on YouTube. It's, it's a bit too serious sometimes. Yeah, and it should be more about the, the, the it should be truthful to yeah, yeah. the experience, and because of that experience, it is also fun. Yeah, yeah, and. Um, Stay tuned for my video on my channel that we did a street stroll video. It should be coming out sometime. I have I need time to edit it, but it's going to suck. <laughs> it's it's going to suck really hard. No, it will be very no, fun. Yeah. No, no, but it's it, it's going to be an example of a fun day hanging out with the homies and friends and doing street photography. And probably 90% of the images suck, but whatever. It's it's it was a cool vibe and it was a really fun day. So um, so stay tuned for that video. And uh, for the potato vlog, which will be better than this video. <laughs> Uh, can I do a sweet potato vlog? Sweet potato vlog. <laughs> can, can I copy your ideas? What's, what's that, that camera <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna call it the yam cam. Can it's like I the positive cam. Yeah, yeah, the sweet potato vlog. I'm gonna steal your idea now. <laughs> How about that? But, um, alright, so anyways, we're gonna wrap this up. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Samuel. Um, and I guess, as always... Every time, man. Every time. Be cool. Be nice. <laughs> Be truthful. Be truthful. Be truthful. In, in a very German, be truthful. <laughs> Sounded like. Be a woke street for Be a woke street for <laughs> Anyways, alright, thank you guys. Set timer for 19 minutes. How long do you want to. Uh, this will be, we'll wrap this up shortly. Because it yeah. sounds like you're bored of this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I know you're a busy man. We'll, we'll wrap it up. Uh, I have a meeting in uh, 50 minutes. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs>